The trails at the Natchez River Wildlife Refuge are quiet this evening, but this past weekend they were full of visitors who got hooked on this East Texas treasure. In nature, it's often the little things that can have the biggest impact. For instance, the tiniest creatures play the biggest role in the life cycle of an East Texas National Wildlife Refuge. It's a perfect habitat for all the wildlife that we have in East Texas. We're riding a trailer tractor down a path, taking us more than a mile into the Natchez River Wildlife Refuge. The refuge manager is Leo Gustafson. So the refuge protects bottom land here on the, on, on the river. So the, the river floods up, it floods these bottom lands, and then the waters recede. And that's a really interesting uh, natural area because it's important to the local wildlife here because it, it creates a food chain. 32 miles of the Natchez River run through the wildlife refuge. Every winter when the Natchez floods, its waters spill into these hardwood bottoms, bringing a food source for tiny creatures who make up the bottom of the food chain. There's tons and tons of energy, and so these animals are the what live in there eating that, and they're mostly small little macroinvertebrates. Hey, that's a good one. Yeah, right. The start of the food chain is part of the annual field day at the refuge. UT Tyler Professor Emeritus Dr. Neil Ford led dip netting in small pools. This is the fun part, right? And then we're going to put it in here and see what we see, what we've got. Crawfish and tadpoles feed snakes, fish, birds, which feed larger predators who call these 10,000 acres in Cherokee County home, all playing a role in a delicate balance of life. That's what uh, this refuge was originally established where was to protect that habitat and to protect the wildlife that's in that habitat as well. That habitat includes plants. That's why the Texas Conservation Alliance brought pollinators to be planted. Cheryl Davis and her twins Solon and Sagan planted Greg's Mist, a colorful nectar source for bees and butterflies. I can't think of a better way to spend Saturday morning. It was one day designed to raise awareness of how small things play a huge role in the balance of life and how small connections made here can lead to a bigger investment. Education is one thing, awareness, uh, conservation. Uh, so there's a lot of reasons for people to be here and enjoy it. And, and uh, then, then it becomes part of theirs. It's theirs, and then they'll take care of it. The Nation's River Wildlife Refuge is open every day from sunrise to sunset, and it's free to hike 20 miles of trails. Just remember, water, sunscreen, and of course here in East Texas, mosquito repellent. They're not too bad.